Normally on my channel, I share petite clothing and different tips and tricks on petite dressing. I thought it was about time that I come on here and share some of the petite style rules that sometimes I break all the time and some I don't follow at all. So let's jump into it. So the first style rule I broke recently with a recent video I did where I wore a pair of black ankle boots with a shorter black dress. Now the rule is, is that this tends to make your legs look a little bit shorter and it doesn't elongate your frame at all. I was going for a very specific look in this outfit and it isn't true. It isn't something I normally gravitate to, but I really welcomed the experimentation of it all and I actually ended up really enjoying it. Now this is not for everybody, I realize that. I'll put the comment up that I got and I won't show her name. Let's call her Felicia, totally made up. So Felicia wrote in and said, those black ankle boots, are you kidding me? What are you thinking? <laughs> Okay, Felicia, calm down. It's not that serious. I was totally fine with it. I loved it. I ended up enjoying it so much. And that is all that really matters. So the point is, I don't wake up every single morning and go through a list of rules that I must abide and dress by. Sometimes I want to be out of the box and sometimes I don't care about looking taller or thinner or anything else. Yes, there are guidelines and sometimes I follow them and sometimes I don't. But I realize sometimes the things I choose aren't going to be for everybody and that's okay. Okay, so the next one is high-waisted jeans. Okay, I'll clue you in on a little secret. I hate high-waisted jeans. No matter what the brand is calling it, whether it's high-rise or mid-rise or anything in between, that's where I like my jeans to hit, right around the belly button. I'm not working with much real estate between the hoo-ha and up under the boobs. Like, I don't have 12, 13 inches to work with here. I just don't. So the point being, it may be called a high rise. It may be called a mid rise. I like them where I like them and that's okay. Now the rule is true. It can make your legs look longer, but some of them I think just look ridiculous when half of the jeans are like between the bottom of your boobs and down to the crotch area. I wanna show this example. This example I'm showing, this is a 12 inch rise and that jean comes below the model's belly button. So that tells me she must be six foot tall. I just think that some of them look absolutely ridiculous. So there are so many jeans coming out that are super high rise and you know, sky high, high rise. I can't stand them. I think they look ridiculous and I just know where I like my jeans to hit. So the super high rise and the super sky rise, I'm passing on those. And if you don't like them, you should too. The next style rule that I break is the rule that petite women should carry small bags, you know, in proportion to their bodies. I like a big bag. This bag is as big as my head and it probably weighs more than I do. But I love a big bag. I have always loved a big bag. I gravitate towards big bags. I love them. Yes, I have some small bags like this. I have some small bags in the background of where I film. But you guys, what can you fit in here? You can't even put a Tic Tac in here. This just isn't cut it most days. Yes, they have their place, but I'm sorry. I love a big bag. I have a lot of crap to carry around. Small bags just don't work for me on the daily, except if I'm going out or I'm dressing up and I, I don't want to carry a lot of stuff. I can't do the small bags. I break that one all the time. The next style rule I break, maybe not all the time, but there are some things in my closet that I know aren't the perfect fit for me, but I just love them. And I have a perfect example of something I wore to work last week. I have this Carl Lagerfeld tweed jacket that I bought years ago. I got it secondhand or at one of those Poshmark or, or some type of secondhand store. It was brand new and the colors just make me so happy. I just absolutely love it. It is not the right fit. It is not the right size. And it hits me in the widest part of my body, at my hips. 
Like nothing about this should I be wearing. But guess what? I love it and I'm going to keep it in my closet and I'm going to keep wearing it. You can see in the example, this jacket hits me at the worst possible place. But you know what? I am okay with it and so should you if you have some of these things in your closet. If we had to think about every single rule to make us look our tallest, our best, our skinniest, our, our whatever, we'd never get dressed because there'd be absolutely nothing in our closets to wear. So just showing you an example of how I break that rule. Okay, so the next rule that I break is that petite women or shorter women should not wear horizontal stripes because I guess they make us look wider. We should wear vertical stripes to make us look longer. Well, that can just go right out the window. I'm completely unbothered by this rule because I love a stripe and I wear them all the time. Now, may not look the best on me. I'm okay with it. I am good with it. Now, my friend Felicia, made up name, did not hesitate to call me out on this one too. She said, I'll put it up on the screen. She said, classic or not, those horizontal stripes make you look 10 pounds heavier. Get rid of that awful horizontal stripe top. You should not be wearing horizontal stripes. Maybe not, maybe not. Guess what, Felicia? I'm unbothered by it because I love them and that's all that really matters and that is the point to you guys too. Wear what you love. Okay, the next style rule I know a lot of you are gonna relate to and that is tucking your shirt in. Yes. If we tuck our shirts in, maybe it might make our legs look a little bit longer, but how many times do you get dressed on the weekends, especially? This is when I find I avoid this style rule most is I don't feel like tucking my shirt in. Maybe I feel a little fluffy that day and my stomach's feeling a little bloated. I don't wanna tuck my shirt in. It's fine. Half the time on the weekends, I am running out the door looking like a half slob really, to be honest with you. But guess what? I just need to be comfortable and I'm completely fine with that. I'm not looking to win any kind of contest on the most stylish and that's just everyday life. Now, if I need to be put together uh, for work or an event or something, of course, I'll try to look my best, but that's not everyday life, right? Life gets in the way and we're all just trying to survive. Let's be honest. We're just trying to survive and do our best in everyday life. Okay, the next, this is not specifically to petites, but I've heard this a lot in the last few months is that chunky boots and Chelsea type boots with boot cut jeans look dated. So I guess I'm gonna have to look dated. I've mentioned this before. I'm not giving up my boots. I'm not giving up my chunky boots. I love to wear them with a boot cut or different kinds of jeans because I get height and stability. And sometimes I do wanna look taller or feel a little taller at least. So I'm gonna keep wearing them. As a matter of fact, in this example that I'm showing you here, I'm breaking three rules here, okay? I'm wearing a horizontal stripe, my shirt's not tucked in, and I have a boot on with boot cut pants. I'm good. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. And again, that's all that matters. The next petite style rule is that petites should always wear thin, tiny, skinny belts. Well, I don't disagree with this rule, but I don't follow it all the time because I happen to like a wider belt, specifically with jeans. I just feel like a thin belt with jeans, just there's something off about it and I don't like it. I feel like the belt's too tiny for the heavy fabric of the jeans. I just don't like it. So I like a wider belt. Do I have them? Yes, I do. I have several and then I wore one in a couple of my most recent videos. But for my everyday life, because 99% of the time I'm in jeans, I probably have a wider belt on or no belt at all for that matter. And my last style rule that I break all the time, and again, this one is not, you know, petite specific, but the rule or trend that raw hem jeans are out, they might be, I'm not gonna disagree with that, but I cut my jeans and I'm gonna keep cutting them because I don't always wanna take them to the tailor. I'm gonna cut them and I'll be okay. I hope everybody else is okay. I don't think it's gonna make or break my outfit. Some people might disagree, but that's fine. Everybody's gonna be okay. Everybody calm down. We don't always have to follow 
all of the rules all of the time. The whole intent of this video was just to show that I am a normal human being. I make mistakes. Sometimes I don't choose the right outfits to represent what I might be trying to um, tell you or, or talk about in my videos, but my intentions are always good. And yes, I'll make a mistake, but also too, I'm gonna wear what I want and none of us should have to live by any specific rules, no matter what size, age or otherwise that we are wear what you love own it be comfortable in it and don't worry about what anybody else thinks because it doesn't matter at the end of the day there really are no rules you follow your own rules i hope you enjoyed this video comment down below if there's some style rules that you break i would love to hear from you i think this is a fun topic because everybody has a different opinion on the so-called style rules and trends Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you would hit that like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye.